All right, everybody, I'm out here uh, hiking the Deer Run Loop at Wallace State Park in Missouri. It's like a two and a half mile loop, I think, two miles, something like that. Not very strenuous, but we are on the trail, as you can see. I've got the two kids trailing behind me. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> We're hiking. The weather turned out to be perfect today. This trail was supposed to be just filled with mud. It was supposed to uh, be thunderstorming today. Weatherman, as they always do, got it completely wrong. We got 70 degree weather, perfectly clear. Just an awesome day. So anyway, I'm gonna get back to the hike and uh, I'll bring you guys back if I got anything else. All right, everybody, I'm letting the girls take the lead now. They didn't know I was getting ready to shoot another video, so they just turned around wondering who I was talking to. It is you out there, nation. Not them. <laughs> so, Bailey, what trail are we on? Duh. <laughs> She's got to go for the map. Katie, what trail are we on? She's got to go for the map, too. Deer run, what color are the blazes? Red. That's right, red blazes. How high do you think we've climbed? Uh, 400 feet. 400 feet, huh? Yeah, I, think that's that's, way too high. I think that's too high, but you might be at least in the, well, not really in the ballpark. About half that, maybe 200 feet. Not very much. Do you think it's very much? Eh. Nah. <laughs> yeah so all right guys we're gonna keep hiking hopefully we didn't bring any water on this hike so i don't know how close i just had that to my face uh we didn't bring any water on this hike because i'm hoping to find a natural source of water and i'm going to introduce these young hikers here to the sawyer mini filtration system my favorite i don't really need to do a review on it because Everybody knows what it is. If you're a backpacker, hiker, camper, you know what a Sawyer Mini is. So I'm hoping we're gonna run across something and I'm gonna get them to drink some filthy, dirty water. You guys looking forward to that? Yeah. Froggy. Bailey? Froggy, yeah. Froggy. Froggy down there somewhere, so. All right, if I find a water source, I will bring you guys back. Until then, see you later. All right, guys, we found a really dirty, <laughs> looking pond of water here got frogs jumping in out of it crickets all kind of nasty stuff i don't know if you can see how brown that is but it's pretty brown so here we have bailey say hi bailey hi. <laughs> she is going to try out my sawyer mini for the first time go for it bailey stick it in there you getting some mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. tastes good all right very good let your sister try you don't want to stop? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of a long hike for you. Don't drag the thing in the dirt, though. That's what you don't want to do. Okay? Was it good? Mm -hmm. All right. Katie, Going remember? Going into combat. All right, all right. No weirdness. The weirdness is for me. Lay on your belly like that. There's a lobster. There's no lobster. You it's probably... Baby lobster. Look. Where? That's a cricket. Not a cricket. Oh, it's a crawdad. It's a small crawdad. All right, go for it. Take a drink. Tasty. Tastes like water, huh? Don't get the straw in the mud. There you go. Oh, good. Ah, there you go. The children are trying this Sawyer no. Mini. Look, now they're fighting over it. Me. Yep. All right. Me. So there you go. The girl's first experience with water filtration. Shh. Oh, there it is. Did you see it? Did you see it? Enemy combatant squirrel. Look at the camera's shaking. Look out for enemy combatant squirrel. They'll jump out of the trees, attack, 
ferociously. What about you guys? Oh my god, it's Are so you scared, scared of the squirrels? I'm scared. They're frightening, aren't they? Look at the fear in her face. Do they have, do they have guns? <laughs> they might. They're terrorists. They have to have guns. Oh my god. All right, we're going to keep hiking. Let's go. Come on. Run! <laughs> no way. You like your walking stick? Yeah. Right on. Look at these. All right, what do we got down here? Oh, don't smash them. Look at that. Some nice mushrooms of a variety. I do not know because I don't know anything about mushrooms. <laughs> I know don't eat them if you're in the woods unless you know exactly what kind they are because you will either get violently sick, you will have a delicious dinner, or you'll die. Those are your options. So avoid the mushrooms, avoid the enemy combatant squirrels at all costs. If anything, try to feed the mushrooms to the enemy combatant squirrels to get them to go away. How here in Missouri, I'm telling you the squirrels, man, they're crazy. They will attack with no regard for human life. So I'm gonna get back on the trail and try to forget about what I just saw. Hopefully I'll run into a black bear or something a little less ferocious than an enemy combatant squirrel. All right, hold on. Gotta get back on the trail. I will, uh... I just saw two spiders on the trail doing the deed. They must think it's springtime and not the end of summer, beginning of fall. Which to me, this is the first really nice fall day we've had. The weather's cool, perfect for this. But uh, what I wanted to talk to you about are these right here button compasses the ones like you get on the end of trekking poles tell you man i hate button compasses everyone i've ever had has been wrong i would say if you're ever going to trust these things get a pack of like 10 and see which ones agree with each other and then maybe those are right but even then i think you're better off using a stick in the sun <laughs> to figure out direction so button compasses guys don't trust them get a good compass so all right back to the trail it's a nice little view of the creek bed there and an obstacle in the path easy to go around that looks much cleaner than what we drank out of earlier So, onward. It's very hard to get over. <laughs> Here's a view of the lake. Pretty sure it's a man-made lake, stocked with whatever type of fish people fish for down here. So, here is our trail before we go back to the Black Blaze Trail that has no name leading back to camp. So, off we go. Alright guys, last bit of the trail until we get back to camp. Overall I'd say that was a good hike. All together with the hike back to our actual camp. I believe that was probably about, I don't know, two and a half, two and three quarter mile. Not very much, but I got the girls with me. Wanted to make it light, so here we are. Coming in, as you see we got the girls' tents, or tent I should say right there. We've got my wife's hammock, which she is probably sleeping in still. You can see her boots down there on the ground, so yeah, I'd say so. My hammock and our little rain shelter, just in case it rains, which it didn't. So anyway, good hike. Time for some water and something to eat. See you guys later. 
right, guys, so I'm back at camp now. Everyone's tucked away, sleeping soundly. My wife is in her hammock over that way. My kids are in their tent. I'm wearing this weird-looking red headlamp. It's got like four modes. It's an old Energizer headlamp I picked up like 15 years ago. It's still running strong. I got it free with another flashlight. <laughs> so anyway, um, now that everyone's asleep, I'm going to have a few sips of the the good stuff. A little bit of uh, Jameson in the cup there. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the night. It's getting cold out here. I don't know what the temperature is, but I think you can see my breath. It's getting chilly. So I'm going to finish up this drink and hit the hammock. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video on the hike today. Thanks for joining me. I will see you next time.